Hi guys and welcome to our continuation of our MapKit tutorial series on iOS development. So in this video we're going to essentially take a project that we created in the last tutorial which contained a map view that uh, was essentially uh, centered around the Wimbledon area in London and um, we're going to display and we had one annotation that was displayed uh, just like you see on screen that um, gave the name of the location and had sort of a subtitle text. What we're going to do is in this particular tutorial is create a map view based project where we have multiple annotations or multiple pins on screen. Uh, this is usually a popular option for most developers that are using map kits uh, because maybe you're showing a particular area in your map and it may have uh, several different items that you want to highlight using these pins. So let's take a look at how you can do just that. Before we get uh, started with a lot of the code, I should point out that this particular tutorial is based on the last one that we created. So if you haven't watched um, any of those tutorials, definitely go take a look at them, bec um, especially if you haven't worked with map, map kits before. Um, right, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and stop this application and let me give you a quick drive through of what we actually have in our project at this time. So within our project navigator or file navigator we see that we've got an app delegate header and implementation file. We've got our view controllers header implementation and nip file and then we've got a custom class that we created called annotation.h and annotation.m which is our implementation file. So let's just take a quick look at what we've got here. So in our view controllers implementation file, you notice that there's only a, I'm sorry, the view controller nip file, you'll notice that the only thing we have is a mk map view object that we dragged onto our screen. This one object actually uh, it turns out has an outlet uh, called my map view and if we were to jump over to our implementation, uh, our header file, you'll notice that here's our outlet uh, setup called my map view. The implementation file has uh, a couple different other things that we can look at. Um, first of all, if we take a look at this, you'll notice that I've defined some coordinates for Wimbledon. Um, we just got, a, got these off of Google Maps or some other service. Uh, we've defined a span, which essentially determines how far in the map view would zoom. Um, and then we go ahead and create things like an MK coordinate region, which is what we use to set our map. Uh, we also create something called a CL location coordinate 2D, and we set its latitude and longitude to this value here. And we similarly create a MK coordinate span value and set its latitude and longitude delta properties to the span we defined here. We then set our region center to be center and our span to be span. And then we essentially set the region for our map view here to this particular MK coordinate region that we just created. Then to display the annotations, we also create another CL location coordinate 2D called WIM location. We set its latitude and longitude values again to these values defined here. We create a annotation object and this class is of course our custom class. So let's go take a look at it real quick. Nothing special in here. Um, except for the fact that this particular class conforms to the MK annotation protocol. This is required for us to be able to display the annotation in our map view. And you'll notice that as any time you conform to this particular protocol, you have to implement these three properties, which is coordinate, title, and subtitle, and you can see their types. And then of course the implementation file just has the add synthesize statement here. So jumping back to view controllers implementation file, once we've created this, we come through and create an um, annotation object called my annotation. We set its coordinate, title, and subtitle, and then we add that annotation to our map view using this particular add annotation method. So this is essentially what allows us to have one pin on our map. Um, now we're going to go ahead and change this particular application so we've got two pins. So one of the first things that I'm going to do is I've gone and found the latitude and longitude for two different football clubs in the London area. So we're going to display Arsenal's location and Chelsea's location on our map. So what I've done is define some constants. So I'm just do a, going to do a command C and we will paste this into our view controllers implementation file. Um, so let's just maybe put a comment that says stadium coordinates. And I'm going to leave the Wimbledon latitude and longitude in there for now, even though we're not really going to be using it. So 
Um, if we come down here, you'll notice that um, one of the things I'm doing is I'm setting the CL location coordinate 2D to WIM latitude and WIM longitude. And what I want to do is actually change this so it is set to Arsenal's latitude and longitude. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Command V to paste. Um, do that one more time. And now we'll be able to set our region center value to be uh, closer to the Arsenal area. Okay, next, we'll, if we come down here, you, remember that the way we were creating these um, um, annotations is we were creating a CL location coordinate 2D, setting it to that exact same um, uh, set of coordinates we had it up had up here, and then creating our annotation object. Then we were essentially um, calling this add annotation method and then adding that annotation to our map view. Now you may be tempted to think that what you can do is essentially copy this code and of course we change all of these values to be Arsenal and then make another copy and change that to be Chelsea and then simply call this method one more time to add the Chelsea annotation onto our map view. Turns out that actually does not work. You can't just make a copy of this and essentially call this method twice. In fact, if you were to try and do that, and I recommend you actually do so, you're going to find that only the first annotation gets added to the map view. So it turns out that we have to take a slightly different approach when we want to add multiple annotations. For, so let's, let's take a look at exactly what we need to do. So first step, we have to create something called an NS mutable array. And what we're going to do with this NS mutable array is essentially we are going to store all of our annotations into that array. So let's just call it locations. And I'm going to say NS mutable array alloc and init. Command S to save. And I'm going to get a warning here in, whoop, doesn't like the fact that it's uppercase. There it is. And I'm going to get a warning here, of course, because I have not used this just yet. Then I'm going to create a CL location coordinate 2D value called, let's just call it location. Keep it simple. And again, I'll get an, uh, a warning because I haven't used it just yet. And then last but not least, we're going to create sort of a generic annotation. And we'll just call it annotation and we'll call it, how about my an? Command S. So again, we get three warnings because we have not used these values just yet. The other thing we're going to do is let's just go ahead and comment this code out so you can have it as a reference, but also know that we will not be using this at all to uh, do what we need to. Okay, so we've got our NS mutable array called locations. We've got a CL location coordinate 2D called location. We're um, sort of semi created an annotation called my N. So what we do next is Let's create our Arsenal annotation. Okay, so first step is we say my an and we say annotation alloc and we do an init on it. With that done, we then take our CL location coordinate 2D item called location and we set its latitude to be Arsenal latitude and then we're going to set its longitude to be Arsenal longitude. Command C, Command V, paste it. Okay, with that done, what we want to do is we then want to take our um, annotation, say my an, we're going to set its coordinate value to be location because what we've done so far is essentially we've set for this particular location value its latitude and longitude and now we're going to set the coordinate itself that we created um, I'm sorry the coordinate property for this particular annotation to location great with that done we can then do things like my and title and we can set this to Arsenal FC and we can say my and dot subtitle and we can say the gunners which is sort of the nickname for Arsenal command us to save then we could also do things like um, let's see here what else do we want to do well, I guess we'll just add, go ahead and add this now so 
um, what we're going to do next is we want to add this particular annotation object to our NS mutable array. So the way we do that, we say we say locations, and we say add object, and you see it just takes um, any object uh, of the of because you know, it's got type ID, so it's generic, and we can simply add myan to this particular array. Do a command as to say. All right, so that actually sets us up in terms of being able to create an annotation and add it to our NS array. And the reason we're going to use the we are using an NS array will be uh, apparent when we um, use a slightly different method to actually add those annotations to our map view. So we want to do one more step of course before we create that method or call that method. Let's make a copy of this and change it so we've got our Chelsea location also in use. So we're going to still use the same my and value uh, do the alloc and init, set the location, latitude and um, longitude property of our CL location coordinate 2D to be Chelsea latitude and longitude. So just copy this to command C, come down here, command V, and I could of course type this, but it's early in the morning and I am lazy. All right, so let's do a command S. Um, we of course set this location, that's fine. We will change the title to Chelsea FC and change this subtitle to be the Blue Lions. And we are just about set. And again, we don't have to change anything here because we still want to add this annotation object into our, a um, what do you call, uh, uh, into our NS mutable array. Okay, so here's the one final change that we have to make. So let's copy this particular method. And instead of cal calling add annotations, what we actually do is change this and call add annotations, which is sort of in the which is the plural. And you'll notice that there's another method called add annotations, which takes a parameter of NS array. And guess what we're gonna pass it? Our NS mutable array called locations, command S to save. All our errors go away. Let's do a command R and run this. And we should see two annotations on our screen. Um, and we did something wrong. So we are not seeing our two annotations. So let's see what we actually did here that is causing a problem. Uh, we still have only Arsenal on our screen. So let me go ahead and stop this. And let's see, what did we do incorrectly here? So we've got our region, no problem, locations, locations. We have got our self dot map view value. Um, we've added all our objects, and this looks correct. So let me let me pause this particular tutorial, um, and I will do some quick digging to see what what went wrong, and then come back and point that out to you. All right, guys, sorry for that disruption earlier, um, but I think I know why we're not seeing the two pins, and it is a rather simple and silly reason. Okay, so you remember initially when we were talking about the different uh, values we had defined as constants, one of the things we had set was the span, which is set to 0.01f, um, which is degrees, it's a floating point value. Well, I just realized that I had probably set this to be too low, so it doesn't the the pin that we have is is in fact on screen we just don't see it because of the fact that the map is zoom, zoomed in so far so what i'm going to do is change this value to 0.10f do command s to save and command r to run and you will see that now we do have the pin and it's kind of embarrassing to think that uh, <laughs> i didn't catch that earlier but anyway um, now you see that we've got our chelsea fc the blue lines annotation and when i tap this I see the Arsenal FC Gunners annotation. So that's how you add multiple annotations to a map view. And um, thanks for letting me struggle through and figure out why I was getting that particular error, not seeing both the annotations. It didn't hit me immediately that it's probably just off screen. So anyway, uh, if you create these, don't forget to set the uh, change your span. Otherwise, you're going to have the same issue as we did. Um, but hopefully, this shows you how easy it is to actually add multiple annotations. Now, one of the things we're going to keep doing as part of this tutorial series in the next couple weeks is um, create custom annotations so you can see how you can create your own images instead of the pin. Um, 
And you can also do things with annotations like, we bring back that simulator, we could create like a detailed disclosure indicator that if I tapped it, it would load a detail view maybe that has some more information about Chelsea, for example, or one of the other clubs. So anyway, good luck programming, and I hope this was of some help to um, everybody that's watching.